Hi everybody, I'm Joey and I have some really cute projects for you tonight that anybody can do. I've got a, I'm going to show you how to make a bag. You can make it out of pretty much any kind of paper. Um, well, any size of paper, pretty much. And we're going to use a 12 by 12, but then I also have uh, some cute little, a cute little box to show you that's also very easy too. So when you come on, make sure you say hi. I'm getting my, looking down at my iPad right now, making sure it's, it's showing me what you're seeing so I can make sure I make adjustments as we go along. And then um, on my laptop here too, that's the only place I can see comments. <laughs> so let me just get that pulled up. See my video, there we go. Hi, good. We've got people starting to jump on. Here's Diane and Chris and Kelly and Kay. Hey, my all oh, my besties are coming on, so that's excellent. We're gonna get going here. Let's hope we don't have to call my or nine one one doesn't come this week because last week, hi Christy, uh, thanks for sharing, you guys. That's so sweet. Some of you just jump right on, you share right away. And that's really helpful for me and hopefully it helps somebody else that might enjoy the video too. Um, but last week when I put my phone in the phone holder to hold it for my video, um, yeah, we called, uh, I call, I, it got caught between the two buttons on both sides, it's an iPhone. And it called emergency services in the middle of my Facebook Live. Hi Kathy! Um, and not only that, but then, you know, I didn't realize they were trying to call me to talk to me. And then, uh, then they, they call my husband, who is my emergency contact. So he's trying to call me all the time. I'm trying to keep, keep going on my Facebook Live and the phones. It was, it was just a hot mess. So we, we did it in two sections. We did one project first, and then we did a second project. Hopefully tonight is shared. Thanks for sharing, Kathy. I really appreciate it. Okay, we're going to get going. Um, let me click a little button here. Thanks, Diane. You guys are so sweet. Let me click this and then a toolbar. I'll go upside down, but then you'll be where you need to be to see what I have to show you. So it takes a minute usually for the phone to catch up and so I can tell what you're seeing, etc., etc. Um, so before we get to the project, and I'll make this quick because I know you tuned in to see how to make a bag and how to make an easy box for Christmas gifts. Um, so lots is happening. Lots of things are happening with Stampin' Up! right now. So tomorrow begins the um, Last Chance products in this catalog, the mini catalog. Um, <clears throat> many of the dies are marked down to half price. Some of the stamp sets are marked down. So there are um, sale amounts. <coughs> Gosh, sorry, I gotta take a drink. Um, there are sale amounts from 20% up to 60%. So I'm not going to go through these with you tonight. Um, but I will have a, a link in my email tomorrow morning. I haven't done that yet tonight, but I'm going to do it. It's on my list. But one thing I want to point out is that the clearance rack is also being updated tomorrow. And they're always really good, refreshed, I should say. And they're always really good bargains on it. But one thing that they let us know about. So this birthday piggy, this is in the annual catalog. This apple harvest is in the mini catalog. And they did a special a couple months ago where you could buy dyes to coordinate with these. Also, one for one other stamp set. And let me get that out for you. So that's in the annual catalog. It's trimming the tree. It's on page 43. So, they created dies to go with this down set. I don't have this one, but I do have the other two sets. And I'll quick show them to you, because they are just, there's a huge amount of dies. So there, this is for the apple blossom one. There's just a lot of extra, you know, not only do they cut out the images and there's, um, la there's labels for the sentiments, 
But then there's extra flowers, leaves, a cute little scallop background, etc. This is on the clearance rack, so as soon as it's gone, it's gone. <clears throat> there's one of my hairs on that, and it's annoying me, but I'm going to not let it bother me. I'm going to move on. <laughs> And this stamp set is in the it's in this catalog. And they also oops, am I mixed up? Yeah, this is with this. And then this is with this. Sorry, I got myself confused. This is this birthday piggy. So in the dies you've got not only the dies that cut out these images, <clears throat> but there's you know, there's a banner, there's little bows, there's a wagon, there's also a greeting label, there's grass. This is both sets of these dies are just super cute and there's so many in them in them and they'll be on the clearance rack tomorrow and the clearance rack a lot of those things actually sell out the first morning that they show up so i just wanted to give you a heads up about that um so you want to check for this birthday piggy dies and the apple um the apple harvest dies and then that trimming the tree one so, so that you don't miss out on those. If you didn't get them when they offered the special, maybe some of you did get them when they offered the special, and that's that's great. Um, tonight, okay. Whoops. Okay, let's let's. I don't think I need to show you this yet. Yeah, that's what we're gonna work on tonight. So I'll show you that in a minute. And then the other thing I wanted to tell you is this was supposed to go through. Well, I'm confused about this, honestly, because I thought we, you could just buy it for one month. And when I went on to the website tonight, I can't get any of it to come up. It says it's not available. So I don't know whether they're going to re-put it back up tomorrow or what's going to happen. The gold gems for this are sold out. This is a fitting florette suite. And it was a special they offered about a month ago. And there's Dies, the dies and the stamps are going to be in the next mini catalog coming in spring. The gems are sold out, but I have a special for you. Um, and I couldn't find out anything. This, the, the framed festive stamp set um, is only limited edition. And then also the DSP is limited edition. So um, these were supposed to end this month. So I know for sure those are sold out and I can't find anything online. So I don't think you can purchase this right now, but um, though that bundle will come available in the mini catalog coming soon. Um, but I do want to tell you about my special. So if you purchase from me $50 or more with this host code starting tonight, um, I have a special little pack and I have some of these gems that were sold out. So the first people that order from me will get these gems. They'll get some of the fitting florets paper as well as some retired paper. So there's going to be some current and retired paper in these little packets. Um, once I sell out of these, you will still get a current embellishment. It won't be a retired embellishment from me plus some of this paper um, as long as I have it available. So I have... A um, couple packs of the paper, and I have several packs of these little gems. So but you have to use this host code, and you have to be one of the first three in order to get these gold gems. But this this special will go on through the Friday. What's today? Thursday? No, wrong. Monday. So uh, using this host code. Okay, so that's my extra thank you for purchasing from me. I will also send you, I have a tutorial for these three projects actually this one too um, that I gave away free with the purchase of people that purchased that so if you purchase $50 in the next uh, four or five days then you'll also get the tutorial for, for that so hopefully that makes it extra special with all the sale items that are going to be on sale okay let me you're not appearing on my the floret set kelly yeah it is it has been so popular so and i look you know i look all over the website so i don't know where they're just refiguring tonight and then it'll reappear tomorrow or it won't we won't be able to order it again now until the mini catalog comes out i tried to find out for you i'm sorry i just couldn't get the information okay tonight we are going to work with 
a couple of things that actually are retiring. So we're gonna work with the decorated with happiness. This is one of the first things on my wish list when we got the new catalog. It's on page 27 and it's retiring. The whole bundle's retiring. Um, but the pine, the decorated pine dies um, are on sale for 50% off starting tomorrow. So they were 34, now they're 17 tomorrow morning. So that's the time to shop right away because all these things are only available while supplies last. These little flat jingle bells, they're sold out. There are some things that have already sold out before they even got um, to tomorrow's sale. Uh, the stamp set's not on sale, but it is retiring. But if you buy the stamp set separately from the dies, you'll still get a better price than this bundle so don't order the bundle if you don't have either of these just order them separately so the stamp set 159704 and the dies 159710 so that's just a heads up for you then one other thing we're going to work with tonight are the celebrate with tags bundle this is on page 67 of your mini catalog. This stamp set is staying, but these dies are retiring. And you guys, this is just like majorly bad news for me, I feel like. I mean, I have them, but I don't usually uh, show anything that people can't buy. So we're going to use these. So we've used them in past videos. So if you've seen my other 12 days of Christmas videos, you've seen me use these a lot. And tomorrow, my snowman class, we, we I used those two. Um, these are all the dies that come with it. So it's, it's birthday candle. You could use, you know, this, that you don't have to have the stamp set. I mean, I always recommend buying the stamp set too, but these are on sale for 40% off tomorrow. So they're now 2340 and there's hearts. Okay. There's two hearts. I'm always using hearts on my products. So, uh, my projects, if you don't have these, I would, I highly recommend them. There's a circle, there's a balloon, there's a little frames for your sentiments. Um, this is a fantastic set of dies. I, I'm truly saying that don't miss it because it's perfect for so many things. This may, this holds a gift card, this die. It's just, it's just really great. Okay. Let's get stamping. We're going to make a bag. I'm going to show you how to make a bag. So I'm going to grab some 12 by 12 paper. Now, if you're on my email list, you will get a complete tutorial, PDF tutorial coming later this week. Um, it should come Friday. It might come Saturday. I have a big class tomorrow. There's lots going on. So I'll try to get this ready for Friday's email. Otherwise, it'll come to your email on Saturday. If you're not, if you haven't signed up for my um, email list, let me just pull up the link really fast and I'll put it into my into the comments. If you're watching on YouTube, thanks so much for walking, watching the recording. Um, everything that I'm using tonight, plus that link for my email list, will be in the video description below the video that little place that says more you click that or that little carrot going down and you'll see all my information so all my customers get my weekly tutorials for free uh, that's the only place i share them i don't share them on a blog i don't share them on my website they only go to my email my newsletter subscribers so just so you know let me grab my scoring board so and the other thing i would say if you're watching on youtube or those of you watching on facebook if you have not yet uh liked or followed my page or if you're on youtube and you haven't um clicked the bell to be reminded if you haven't subscribed i would um, urge you to do that so you don't miss anything um now okay let's ignore these and these this this is going to be a little bit difficult because everything is not going to be in the screen so i'll try and watch carefully let me move things around a little bit so that i'm sure i get you in the picture i'm going to move that down just a touch okay so you'll be able to see what i'm doing let me all right close your eyes if you get motion sick i'm going to raise my camera up some so it's going to be wonky for a minute and then it should be better in a minute too so let's see if that's a little bit better. Yeah, you can see my chair back here. Oh, I don't know if it was that helpful. <laughs> a 
Let's go out here a bit. Okay, see if I can get more of this in the screen. Okay, that's not great, but it's a little bit better. Okay, now here we go. So you're gonna, if you don't have um, a scoring tool, this is a simply scored tool, we call it. And it is just fabulous for, especially mass producing a lot of projects. So I'm still kind of crooked here, aren't I? We're gonna go with it. Okay, there are two ends, the stylus comes with it. One is kind of a fine tip and one is kind of a larger tip. So we want to, um, we want to score, Okay, let me, let me say this simply and then I'll give you the details. So when you wanna make a bag, you want three sides to be the same width. So you're gonna score, I'm gonna score this at three, three, and three. And then the, that, that's gonna be the basic of your bag. And then if you want the top part to uh, have a little fold over and be a decorative edge. So we're gonna, on this one, we've got these little polka dots. So this is going to be two at the top. So the two can be any size, but they are the top, but your three sides have to be the same all three on all three sides. So we're gonna go at three. Now when you're scoring on pattern paper, you have to be kind of careful because it is pattern paper, it's not cardstock. And then we're gonna go three again. Okay, then we're gonna go three again. And then we're going to go two, and this will be the top of our bag, like this, okay? All right, so then we're going to do this one again. I didn't prepare ahead any of this because I wanted you to see me actually do it. So again, we're going at three, and three. Whoops, it helps to stay in the groove. Three, and three. And then two, this is the top of our bag for our two, okay? Like so. Okay, we don't need this anymore. Okay, hi Melinda, welcome. Oh, you're fine. No, there's no being late. You're always, you're always on time. Let's go to, now I know on video this is gonna be hard to see. I'm gonna go ahead and fold all my sides to this before I do any cutting. So I want my, this is gonna be my fold over and then these are gonna be my size. So you'll have to bear with me. I'm gonna try really hard to stay in the camera. I'm gonna try and keep focused because working with 12 by 12 paper, it's easy for, uh, for me to get out of your viewing range. <laughs> so, Okay, I've got that one. I'm just gonna do the same thing to my other piece here. This is so easy though. Anybody can do this, even if you're not a stamper. If you just happen to actually come onto this Facebook Live uh, or YouTube video and you're not a stamper, you can do this. This is, this is very easy to do. Okay, all you need is adhesive and you need some square paper, either 12 by 12 or, this is 12 by 12, so if you're gonna do what I'm doing, you need to have 12 by 12 paper, okay. So now, this is the top of our, our bag, because this is the two inch side. That's the two inch side. So we're gonna come down here, and I'm gonna take my larger, this is a, a scissors we used to sell, we don't have it anymore, and I'm going to cut on that up to this score line. So this is the bottom of our bag, the bottom, here's the top, and I'm cutting this way into it. So I'm cutting horizontally into it. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off that square. So, like so. So then you have this little piece left. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm coming over here. First thing I'm gonna do is score horizontally. I'm saying horizontally to the top of our bag. And then I'm gonna cut this one off too. And so your first piece looks like this. Okay, 
so this is how this looks. So we're gonna let this go for a second and then we're gonna come to this one. Now in this one, here again is the top of our bags. So you wanna just make sure you keep track of that. And then the bottom, we're gonna do the same thing, cutting in from horizontally to the vertical score line, but we are not cutting this off, okay? So on one side, you cut those squares off. On the other half, on the other half of your bag, you don't cut them off, okay? So this one looks like this, folded like this, okay? You can kind of see how this is going to come together in a minute. All right, the next thing I'm going to do, just so I don't forget about it, is I'm going to go ahead. Now, if you were doing this and you had time and you weren't on Facebook Live and you were trying to... Uh, not waste people's time. I would probably use Tombow on this instead of Seal. I think it'll stay better and I think it'll look nicer actually. But I'm going to go ahead and um, glue down those sides, that side flap so it's already glued down. I'm going to do the same thing on this one. So I'm going to, yeah come down here this is the bowels of holly paper i just love this paper it's retiring tomorrow so if you want it and you don't have it or you have it and you want more of it um i would suggest getting it first thing tomorrow i mean get it tonight let me see if it's on sale quick um well actually i marked everything in my catalog so let me let me just pull the catalog open and we'll see if it's on sale. Because anything that's on sale is going to go faster than something that isn't on sale. So we're going to thumb through here quick. And it's on. I didn't mark anything in the back. I marked it all in the body of the catalog. So page 25. I don't think this one was on sale. Yeah, it's retiring, but it's not on sale. And you know what that means? That means they don't have very much of it. So you still want to get it first thing tomorrow. Okay, now we're going to go back to our bag, part of the bag that we had um, cut the squares out of. And then I'm going to grab... Well, as soon as I can find it, I'm going to grab it. I thought I cut this. Well, we need to cut a piece of cardstock. So hang on. I'm going to grab a piece of crown cake out of my drawer. Sorry, in my haste of cleaning up today, I think I might have tossed it. Rather than looking through the trash for it, we're just going to cut a new one. So we need a piece of, well, you could use any color cardstock, but you do need cardstock because this is a paper bag. I mean, it's beautiful designer paper. And as for designer paper, it's uh, heavy, but you need a little more stability. Now on our trimmer, this six inches here um, is exactly here where the ruler is. So if you go exactly up there, and you keep everything straight here you're gonna get your six inches exactly, okay? So now we're going to, I have to think about this for a minute. We'll just, it really doesn't matter. I don't think what side it goes on. Let me think about it for a minute. I don't want it on the inside. So I want this to cover this up. Yeah, I think that'll work okay. So. It doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen. Um, even if it's in the inside of your bag and it ends up being what you see in the bottom of your bag, it doesn't really matter because nobody's going to peer in your bag and go, oh my gosh, I can see the crumb cake cardstock. It doesn't match your bag. And if they do, you could just grab your gift back and say, you know what, I think I might give this to somebody else. So now we've got, can you see what we've got here? So here's our, I know it's not all on the camera. So here's our top and here's our bottom. And we've got our two pieces that are cut, our flaps right there. And then we've got this guy. 
This is the inside of our bag. This is the outside of our bag. And if we put this this way, we're gonna cover that up. Does that make sense? So then the inside of your bag is gonna look like this instead of the cardboard showing. But again, you know, it doesn't matter. If it shows, it's only gonna show on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and let's see, how did I do this? I think I did, I just went ahead. I haven't, well, I made it a few days ago, but as I said, for this, I would definitely use Tombow, but for the sake of it, um, let me make sure I'm doing this right. For the sake of television, live television. <laughs> so I'm pulling this up here and I'm meeting these corners. Does that, can you see that in the video? So I'm meeting these corners. So I've got it pulled up, you know, all the way here. We don't want any spaces there. And then I press it down. So, so can you see what's going to happen here? Our bag's going to come together like this. Okay, so then I'm going to... I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is score these a little tighter. Okay, and then we're gonna put adhesive on, this is gonna come up like this, so we want this to close like that, is that right? And then like that, yep, that's right. Okay, so we're going to put adhesive there and then on the other side, okay? I'm trying to get back in the picture. Then we're gonna fold this up like so. And we're gonna go straight up. Oops, yeah, that's right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. So in this case, I've got it on the outside because then this side's gonna come up and cover up that flap. Make sense? Okay, so same way over here. I'm going to bring this up. I'm sorry, it's hard to get this to show in the video. Bring this up and I'm going to Line it up, I'm trying to get over here where you can see me. Line this up like this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm probably making you motion sick. And then we're lining up this corner like this to make it like that. Okay, now if you use liquid glue, this isn't going to flop out like this. But it's not going to really matter because then we're going to bring this up like this, and then it covers that up, see? And then you don't have that flap on the inside either. Now, if you get the flap on the inside, it don't, again, no one cares. So then we're gonna go ahead and put our adhesive along this side. Now, once you've made one of these, you can make another one really quickly. You no, know, it's, it's just taking me longer because I'm trying to show you. <laughs> I'm sometimes showing you in the camera and sometimes not. Then we'll go over here and we'll bring this side up. Square like that. So you know, there wouldn't be any gaps if, like this if I had to use Tombow. So just so you know. I mean, it'll definitely hold together. And then another thing I was going to show you is if you take your cherry cobbler I'm going to take either my cherry cobbler or my real red and I'm going to go, I'm going to make sure this is going to be the right color. I didn't do this on my sample, but I'm going to do it on this guy. So take your, you can take your blends marker. I'm going to actually use the brush end. And this, our white, the, our pattern paper um, has a white core. Our cardstock you could use real red here too. Our cardstock is colored all the way through, so that we don't have a white core. But then you don't have that little white edge. See that? Hopefully, you can see me covering it up. And then this has a little bit on the inside. So if that bothers you, you know, normally if I was making bags, Christmas bags for my family, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother with it. But if you, if that bothers you, then you can just take your marker and color that. So then it doesn't, you know, then it doesn't look white. That how you don't have that little white edge. Okay, then we're going to take our, now you, any kind of a hole punch will do. Um, I am going to use my crocodile. We used to sell these. We don't have them anymore. And I'm going to come in about... 
oh maybe an inch i might actually measure that so i don't muck it up so we're gonna we know this is probably gonna be six inches yep it is six inches so i'm gonna come down about an inch here's an now if you have a good eye you don't have to measure this and if i wasn't on a video right now i wouldn't be measuring it either but just to help you if if you're a person that feels like you can't see um that it's hard for you to judge distances of course this is not working so anyway i might or might, might not measure it but i'm going to come in and <laughs> just because it's being awkward i'm going to come in here um with my let's see this is a 3 16th inch punch and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna guess that I'm approximately an inch in from the side and punch. And then this side, I'm gonna guess again. I think I'm probably about, about the same. Punch and then, cause you need holes to put your ribbon through or whatever you're gonna use for handles. Punch and then maybe about the same on this side. Hopefully I'm close that way. Okay, this is gonna be the front of our bag because this is where our seam goes across like this. Okay, so, um, oh, before we do that, I've got some scallop trim to put on. So this is, I cut two scallops with a scalloped contours dies. And it's the best selling, it's the most highest selling product in Stampin' Up! are the scallop contours dies. If you don't have them yet, I would highly suggest you get them. Um, I, I don't even go, I don't even go a whole week without using at least one die, if not multiple dies for my set. So we know that this is six inches across and the die is exactly six inches. So I'm going to just kind of tuck this in here to make this cute little scalloped edge like so and then i haven't been watching your comments so i'm as a gift snagger oh you 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 know there are things you don't know about me christy okay let's let's put this in here like so okay then we've got our cute little scallop front and back this is a front because our seam goes across like this. And I think I did screw this up on that, you know, because this seam should be this seam. But you know the idea and the principle of it. So when you're putting your bag together, you can't really do it wrong. Um, but if you're real fastidious about where you want the folds to go, you know, like I usually am, but I was in a hurry to uh, get it done and to try to show you without it being... Uh, three hours of a video now on my original bag i made these i don't know if you can see me measuring but i'm using the iridescent trim and i made these on the original one i think 14 inches yeah and i'm going to add i'm going to make them longer i think they needed to be a little bit longer so i'm going to do 16 inches for these and you need two if you're making my exact size a bag then you need uh, about 16 inches I think I think it's good I wouldn't make it really much shorter than that and you probably don't need it really longer than that and you're just gonna come in and stick this through and then I'm going to come over this side so you can see me and I'm just gonna make a knot here thanks Kay Bags are so easy. We can all make bags. It's not, you know, and gift bags, they are expensive in the stores. Even if you go to Dollar Tree, well, Dollar Tree's better, but, oh shoot, what, well, don't do that because you actually need it to be in your bag. <laughs> Hold it. You know, once again, we deconstruct something on Facebook Live with Joey. You know, it's like, come on and watch me so you can figure out how not to do it when you do it. You do need to have both ends of your handle in the bag. So now I'm gonna stick this guy back through here. And when it won't go for you, you know, when you're, uh, just take your scissors or your, take your pick tool and stick it in there. And then you need to just tie this in a knot. 
By the way, tonight I'm doing projects 9 and 10 of my 12 weeks of Christmas, and both of those projects will be um, in, my, in my, yeah, that's a good length, I think, honestly. You could probably make it a little bit shorter, but I think 14 was too short. Maybe 15 is exactly the right amount. But uh, both projects 9 and 10 for the 12 weeks of Christmas will be in my email this week. Um, and next week, both 11 and 12 will be coming in email. So make sure you get signed up before then if you're not already so that you get everything written out for you. And I did make diagrams for this too. So hopefully that's helpful for you uh, when you have it written and you have all the measurements and everything. So, okay, so there, there that is. Okay, so now if you didn't want to do anything else to it, that's, there's your bag. You know, it's super cute, super easy. Anybody can do this and you can make them smaller too if you want to. I don't think I've ever made a bigger one, but you could make them bigger. Um, but you, obviously your paper would have to be bigger. Okay, we're gonna make a tag for this with the celebrate with with the no with the um, decorated with happiness dies. I did pretty much cut all this, so we're just gonna glue it down because I didn't want you to have to wait nine thousand years while I was die cutting things. If you're just watching for the first time and you haven't seen die cutting, I am going to die cut something. So you will see me die cut something on this video. Just hang in there. I just wasn't going to do all the die cutting here. So I'm going to grab my real red ink and then uh, one of the stamps in the decorated with happiness is Christmas greetings. And I just really like the font in it because it has kind of a script and then uh, printing so I just really like it so I'm going to just go ahead and ink this in real red this is a die cut from the stylish shapes dies and again in my PDF tutorial I'll list everything that I used the number the order number and the price so that you have everything at your fingertips if you want to order or you just want to have it for reference so we've got that and that's done then we're gonna take, this is one of the vines in that same set of dies. It's a little, it's a branch, obviously, from a um, evergreen tree. So I'm gonna grab my combo glue. And I haven't been looking at my questions. So I'm not seeing any, if, I'll, I'll come back. If, if I miss a question or a comment, I'll come back after the video's over, I always do. So I'm going to just kind of, I'm not going to get every single branch. I'm just, I'm barely pushing on my glue, although it doesn't want to come out very much. But it's better to not come out very much than to come out too much. So I'm just kind of putting this in key places because I don't really want it to all be stuck down. But if you do, and, and it really can't be all stuck down on this project either because um, we're going to, the, on the, the way I did it, I'm putting the branches kind of off of the, off of the tag a little bit. So this is a tag cut with the, what are the tags called? Um, see, I want this to kind of come off like this a little bit. I think that's about right. Um, the tag, tailor-made tags, dies. Okay, so we're down like that. Then we're going to... Now these uh, are a little trickier. And actually for these, I'm going to... You could use uh, self-adhesive sheets and die cut these with self-adhesive sheets. I've got that for you on the next project. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I will show it to you. Um, we're going to grab... I'm just going to roll so many glue dots. So I'm kind of just rolling them like so. And then I'm going to stick them in a couple of strategic places like right here. Okay, who's got their Christmas shopping done? I want to know. I don't know if you can still be my friend because I don't have Christmas shopping done. I haven't started Christmas shopping. <laughs> but if you do Christmas shopping, maybe not everybody does Christmas shopping either, but if you do Christmas shopping, who's got it done? Anybody? I'm rolling the glue dot again, putting that right here. 
And one more. I um, I went to Stampin' Up! on stage in Arlington, Texas. Some of you have heard this story already. I had a fabulous time. Several of my team went with me, and we just had a great time. I left a happy, healthy dog, and I came home on Thursday, and I came home on Sunday, and I had a dog that wasn't eating, and he he hadn't eaten for like three days. So, and my husband thought he was just missing me. I'm like, mm, uh, no, I don't think that was it, because he'd stayed home with Steve before when I left. I mean, okay, so there's that, and then we'll get our Christmas greetings on here. And I have had a very sick boy, and I have been at the vet no less than four times over the past two weeks since I got home, and he is recovering. He, they diagnosed a protein-losing enteropathy, whatever that is, but they had to rule out a bunch of stuff too. So um, it took it took a long time to get everything ruled out. He's on it was on a bunch of medication. They've taken him off quite a few things. He still will have to be he'll have to maintain some medications probably indefinitely. But he lost so much weight. He was I just thought I was gonna lose my puppy this week. I just thought he's so sick. Okay, so let's do Christmas greetings. Well, that's not going to work here. I can't talk about him being sick and <laughs> make a card at the same time. <laughs> but he's doing, he's doing good. He's, he's been, he got tremors. He was getting already starting to get a little bit better, but then he would just start shaking. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to take a little bit of this is the what is this baker's twine essentials pack he would just start you know tremoring and shaking and he was doing it all the time and it was just oh my gosh it scared me to death so that the the vet then put him on pain medication she thought maybe that was from pain which, you know, if he'd have been still in that much pain, if that's indeed what it was from, we would not have let him continue to suffer. But he started to get better. Well, actually, the first day before he was able to get a hold of the vet, I, um, I tried some, we have a sedative for fireworks that we only give him on the 4th of July. So I gave him just a little part of a pill, not very much. And he calmed down quite a bit. He seemed more comfortable. But then I had a vet appointment the next day. Actually, I didn't even go in. She said, I'm going to give you a pain medication for him. So we started him on the pain medication. And then he, the trembling got less and less and less. And now it's only... He still does it first thing in the morning. And sometimes even right before we go to bed. But that seems to be about it. I don't know. I don't know what that's from. She's not sure either. But he's better and he's so much happier. He plays with his toys. He's eating really, really, really well. And she said to increase his food because he lost so much weight. Okay, there we go, kids. And then let's get a little bit of bling on here. We've reached the point where we write checks. I have not started a certain edition of me either. Oh, good. I'm at, I'm in my, these are my people. Thank you guys for being part of my, my stamping family. <laughs> I'm not the only one. I have sisters-in-law who were probably, they were probably done in June. You know, they're those, they're those kind. Not all my sisters-in-law are like that, but I have one or two that are pretty much like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put a few little blingy blings on here. So we're going to use gold. These are the um, adhesive back seasonal sequins. I think I said that right. We're going to put a little gold one up here. And maybe we'll just put one right on the ringer of the bell. Or, yeah, that's the ringer, right? And then, um, I don't want to be too predictable. Let's put one 
maybe over here. Then we have kind of a little triangle. And there is our bag, you guys. So that's not too bad. And you don't have to do all this fancy stuff. You can just put a simple tag on it. Can you see? Um, and stick in your paper. And you've got your little bag. So now, I also have another project to show you. And it is an easy little box. And it has a really good thing in it. And it could have more than one really good thing in it. Thanks, Tiffany. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, he's so much better. Oh my gosh, I just, I didn't know if I, you know, if I lost my dog this week, I just don't think I could be functioning. I just, you know, he's my baby. So that would not have been okay. I couldn't have managed it and done all this. You know, I would have had to take time to grieve, which, you know, which is important to do. But thank the Lord. We're in a pretty good place, and he's doing well. All right, kids, we're going to make another easy, easy gift card holder, and it has also something even better inside it. Well, there might not be much better than a gift card. But, okay, so these little, these little boxes, they come, they're called envelope treat boxes, and these are in the annual catalog. And I think, oh, I better check. Maybe they are on the mini catalog. Um, I think they're carrying over, even if they are retiring. Yeah, they are. They're envelope. They're called envelope treat boxes. They're on page 83. Their number is 159788, and they're $8 for, I think you get 10. Um, so... But they're pretty easy. People kind of look at these and go, I, how do I put this together? So you always just begin by scoring all your score lines. Whoops, sorry. And then things go much easier. If you don't get everything scored really well, um, sometimes it's hard to see how your box is supposed to go together. Like this. Okay. Like so. Okay, that's all those, or that's all those. I think, I nope, I missed these. Look at these little flaps. Now these are really nice too because they already have the adhesive on them. So then you just take your, I don't know where my take, here's my take your pick tool. Sometimes I just reach for my old piercing tools because I just have stuff flying around here, you know, when you're trying to get stuff done, you just, Grab for whatever is close. Okay, these little things peel off. And then you're just gonna fold this in, kinda like we did the flaps on the bag. So you're gonna just fold in there and then just work your way around the four corners, like so. My laptop screen, thanks, Kelly. Yes, our pets are our family, Pam, for sure. And honestly, I'm just the person who believes that if you don't make a pet part of your family, you probably should not have a pet. Okay, that's just me. <laughs> now, a gift card fits in here perfectly fine. Let's see if I can grab my gift card. So this will fit in here. See, it's exactly the size of a gift card. So you can use that, which is probably what I'll use them for. But look at this, you guys. Okay, is there anything better than the Reese's Peanut Butter Trees? Now, I know it doesn't coordinate with what we're going to put on this because we are going to use red and green. But look how perfect it is. So you can put your gift card in there in a little treat. And look at that. And this wouldn't take you very long. And again, you don't have to be a stamper to put together these little boxes. You can just get some pattern paper, put your little boxes together, uh, wrap a little bit of pattern paper around it. I'm going to put this closure like this and and then like this you can do it the other way with those two little hooks on the top okay then you're just going to take a piece of pattern paper did i cut some <laughs> oh, i might not have cut any i don't know you guys it's been kind of crazy here just saying i'm so behind from brady being sick i just I, you know, he was 100% of my focus. I'm scrambling for some pattern paper that I think I already cut. Um, 
he was my focus. He had to be my focus, and he needed pretty much 24-hour care. So I'm behind on a lot of stuff, but I don't care. I've got a dog that's healing and getting to feel better. And, you know, I just have a... Uh, I always felt this way in teaching, and I just said... You know, things get done when they have to get done. And if they don't get done, they didn't have to get done. Very profound, I realize. So you're going to take a piece of 12 by 12 paper. And it's 3 and 1 fourth. You could cut it 3 and a half. If you really want to cover all of the box, you would cut it at 3 and a half. So I'm going to move over here just to touch. But I cut mine at 3 and a fourth. I thought three was just too skimpy. I know three and a fourth kind of feels like a waste of paper. But, and then you're gonna cut it by eight. I'm so annoyed with my laptop, it keeps. Oh, Pam, good, excellent. Well, I'll give you an idea here. So then we're going to cut at eight. Let me double check my measurements. Three and a fourth by eight, yep, that's right. Okay, now, now with belly bands, it's tempting to it's tempting to pull them too tight around your box. I don't score these, I just don't. Um, and I'm probably gonna put that on the bottom underneath because they're gonna open it anyway from the bottom because that how 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 that's how it opens. But I'm gonna take this and then I just I just kind of crease it with my fingers and pull it up and then you know, I make a lot of boxes and things for craft fairs, and there's just no time to score them. I'm pulling it snug, but not super tight. So I'm, you always want your belly band to be able to come off pretty easily. I mean, slide off, not just come off, but slide off. And again, I know I would never use, I would use tear and tape on this. I'm going to use uh, adhesive just to... What am I doing here? I want this to be there. Okay, so I want a little bit here. And then I want some on this one. And that way when you fold it in, you have adhesive here for the inside and you have adhesive for the outside. Okay, like that. If you're a beginning stamper or you don't stamp at all, you can just call that good and put a little ribbon around it and a tag and you're good to go and you've got your gift card holder. But we're gonna make it a little fancier. So we're going to, I'm going to uh, first put, uh, no, it's Christmas, we have to have bling. This is, I'm not sure, this is like probably originally four inches and then I, I just angled the edges of it. We're just going to stick that on the top of this, like so, and then... Um, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a self-adhesive sticker. I, I alluded to this on the first project. You're going to take, this is our Whisper White, not Whisper White, white uh, glimmer paper. And then this is a piece of um, adhesive back paper. It comes, there are six, it comes in six by 12 sizes and you get six. I think you get six. It's in the annual catalog. So you're gonna take one, there's two waxy coatings on this, and then you're gonna just stick your, and I cut mine the exact size of my glimmer paper because it's very, very sticky. Like this is holding over here and it's super sticky. So I'm actually going to cut that off so I don't have to deal with it sticking to my fingers or other paper where you don't want it to stick, okay? So we're gonna take that off and then we're gonna get our die out. So this might be a review for you or this might be new information for you. We're gonna grab our die cutting machine, but I thought it would be good to show it. Hmm, where's my balance? There's my balance. I thought it would be good to show it just because we sometimes forget about that um, adhesive back paper, self-adhesive paper, and it makes life so much easier for these 
detailed dies that are so skinny you find it hard of where you're going to put the tape. So now when I use this, I usually go through four times with a stamp and cut and emboss machine. By the way, if you don't have one of these, this will be a great Christmas present. And I do give gift certificates too. So if you want a gift certificate for a stamping friend, or if you want, um, a, if you want to make a wish list and send it to me and the name of who it should go to, um, I can help them out. I can help you get what you want for Christmas. So just let me know. I'm just gonna poke these guys out here with my tool. These dies cut pretty well, but they're going through glimmer paper and then that other that adhesive backing too. So usually you have to poke them. They they come out just really easy, but you still kind of have to poke them a little bit. Every time I look at my, over at my laptop and the screen is dark, so I can't see what you're saying. Let me check. Um, thanks, Tiffany. Yes, I'm so thrilled too. I just, it was a dark week. It was a dark two weeks, honestly. You know, you know you can't keep them forever, but you want to keep them as long as you can. Okay, I've got this. I have already die cut a tag with that uh, die that I told you about, the Celebrate with Tags, Celebration Tags dies, that is retiring and it's on sale tomorrow. So I have already cut one. And then I also cut... Well, I know I cut another, hang on. Yeah, here's my stuff. Oh, I wanted to show you something on this before we go away from the bell. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off this adhesive protection. And then I wanted this to be a little blingier. There's not a die that's just the outline of this bell because there isn't a stamp for this. And then I'm going to put it right on my glimmer paper my red glimmer paper, and I'm gonna stick this down. Now, actually at the top, I don't want that to show through, so I'm gonna grab my paper snips and I'm gonna cut, cut that off right there. Yep, like that, that'll be good. Okay, then all I did is I just cut really close. You have to be careful so you don't, cut into your bell, but I just kind of angled my scissors. Can you see how I'm doing that? Kind of right underneath that white bell. So I get the red underneath it, but um, I can just do it all at one time. I'm not trying to cut the red separately. My In my life, I just don't have time for that. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm cutting around and just a little bit more. And it actually worked pretty good. I I just thought, how can we make this, how can we get a glittery inside of our bell and not make ourselves crazy trying to figure out what to do with it. So, so that's what I did. So then we have that sparkle on the inside. Then we'll put our tag together. So here's our block. So far we're gonna grab our combo glue again remember if you're watching for the first time i would love for you to uh, like and follow my page and um if you're watching on youtube i would invite you to subscribe if you're enjoying the video so you don't miss the next one every wednesday i do facebook live on my create with joey page and i um i immediately load it to youtube so normally it's there just later on Wednesday night. Okay, so for this tag, I'm gonna angle this one. We're gonna cut off quite a bit of this one. I'm gonna angle it kind of going up close to that, close to the hole right there, and then press down our glue. If you do get a little bit extra, you can squishing out, you can just dab it a little bit. I'm gonna cover up most of this, so I'm not too worried about it. And you know, I definitely could have put the self-adhesive paper onto that. 
Then we're going to, let's grab our other greeting tag. So I used the same dies for this, the um, Stylish Shapes dies. Had to think for a minute. Now this time though, we're gonna use uh, Shaded Spruce. These are my two favorite red and green, Shaded Spruce and Real Red. And then our greeting stamp. Just gotta make sure it's cleaned up. <laughs> make sure there's no red going into my, I think I did clean it, but just to be sure. Um, I like shaded spruce and garden green. Those are to me, just, I mean not garden green, uh, shaded spruce and real red. They're my two favorite Christmas red and greens together. We have a lot of beautiful greens. If this one doesn't trip your trigger, there are other other beautiful greens though we have a lot of a lot of greens okay so there's our shaded spruce greeting then we're just about done with this this is going pretty good we will take a little piece of paper um, this is two by two and a fourth I think and then we're gonna stamp this is from that celebration celebrating with tags stamp set that is stain and then the dyes aren't stained. I I don't get it. I'm just saying I don't get it. And because <clears throat> I would have kept the dyes before the stamp set. Personally, we don't we don't have anything like the dyes. So again, they're on sale tomorrow, so don't miss it. Use this host code and you'll get all my host gifts this month. Well, you have to use it in the next um through where are we fighting? So through Monday to get my special host gifts. So make sure you use it. If you're on YouTube, I'll put all that information on the uh, on the description of the video. Okay, so let's keep going with this little guy. Just gonna grab our. I'm trying to watch for your comment, you guys, but they're just my laptop just keeps. Hi, Janet. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Hi, Sue. Okay, so I'm just going to continue to put this here. As I said, you don't have to get fancy with your tags. You can make this cute little box, put your gift card in it, and anybody will love it. Um, I tend to, you know, I just tend to jazz it up. All right, then let's go ahead and put our ribbon around. Let's get this going first here. I'm gonna put, this is real red and green ribbon. It's a combo pack. You get garden green and real red. I'm going to, I gotta think how I did this. I think I didn't tie it completely here because we're gonna put a, or maybe, oh, I did. Okay, I'm looking at my sample. So I'm gonna tie this around. You know, if you're not a stamper and you don't tie bows, you can just get one of those cute little stick-on bows that you can get in the at Target or my bows wacky girls. Maybe there's boys watching, I don't know. Girls and boys, my bow is kind of wacky. We're gonna go with that. It's on YouTube Live and you know what? I'm not YouTube Live, Facebook Live, so we're just going to call that good. Then I'm going to take, let's finish this. I'm going to grab my greeting. And I think I'll put my bell on first. I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals here. And now I'm going to put this bell up pretty close to the, to that hole but I don't think I'm gonna put it right through the hole. I'm gonna come down kind of like this. I'm not pushing it too hard because I just have to make sure I've got room for my greeting. Yeah, that'll work. We can get that on. Same stamp set, same, same stamp set and same dies for both of these projects. Um, both of these are retiring, the stamps and the dies. This tag one is retiring the, those dies. Okay, so I've got this, and then we're just going to grab our 
iridescent trim again and then i'm going to put i think the way i did this is not fancy i think i just made a knot on here let's see sometimes you have to use a tool to get stuff whoops this has two tools it has a spatula and then a piercing tool which doesn't want to work for me right now they twist in and out but sometimes they twist off too I'm gonna go from this side. And I'm gonna tie this around. Oh, is that gonna work? Uh, no, I'm gonna go from this side. Okay, I'm gonna tie it right around my bow. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm coming around like this. Uh, but before I do that, I'm gonna string through my tag. So I'm going to go come through the back here, like so, and then come through like that, okay? And we don't need that much, so we don't wanna waste that. Let's go this way. Okay, and then I'm gonna go right over the top. I had it. I have to have these going a certain way, and sometimes I don't figure out which side has to be the shorter one. Oh well, it doesn't matter. We're gonna get her done. So then I just, I'm gonna do a little tie over like this on the top. Hopefully you can see me. And then I kind of do that old kind of square knot thing where you I went right over left. Now I'm gonna go left over right. Left over right. Kind of have to talk myself through it. And then tie a little bow here. Then you've got your sparkle on the top. I love this ribbon. This iridescent trim, it's, it's on going on retiring tomorrow so just a little bit and there you guys look oh we didn't get our gems on it let's get some gems on this on this one oh thanks christy this one we will put um let's put what other colors of gems we've got some green ones let's let's try green on this they're so sparkly i really like these so let's go up here with one and we'll put a little green one. Maybe we'll go right on the greeting itself, like there. And then maybe one more little one. Maybe if I go out here, I'll put it on the red so we can see it. And then I'm gonna move this one. You know, I know, don't do this. Don't do this at home. Moving it over. Look how cute, you guys. I just think this is so cute and easy. Now, again, if you're a beginning stamper, you don't need to do any of this part of it. If you want to learn how to do that, I'm happy to help you with it. But, you know, don't get yourself overwhelmed. You don't need... Stamping is fun. It doesn't have to be hard, and it shouldn't be stressful. So there's our little gift box. And then we've got our little gift bag. Thank you, Pam. I really appreciate it. And there's... Our little sweet little gift bag. This ribbon is a got to have, people. It's called Iridescent Trim. What's the number on? If you don't have this, I'm telling you, you need it. Okay, it is, let's get the number, 159594. And again, if you're my email subscriber, you will be getting all of this, the complete PDF tutorial, plus all the item numbers and the prices and all the detailed directions and the photos. So you're going to get all of that this week for both projects I gotta get myself so i just want to thank you so much for watching um i hope i gave you some ideas that you could at least modify if not copy exactly and that you can enjoy making some projects for your gift giving and your family and friends so thank you so much for watching and i hope i'll see you again next week um, I love spending time with you i hope that it's benefiting you and helping you and inspiring you take care everybody um, Lord's blessing to you this season. Take care. Love. Bye-bye.